I'm getting ready for an event and thought I would talk to you about a very important but sometimes underrated part of your kimono dressing kit, your koshihimo. Many people are happy to talk about the glamorous kimono and obi and even the juban, but often mention the himo as a side note. And it's not exaggerating it to say that if you don't have them, your kitsuke is going to fall apart. And you're going to need more than just a few. It can take up to seven himo to dress someone properly in kimono. They can go by different names. Koshi means waist, and himo is a tie. So normally you're going to find them tied around your waist, closing your juban, hara juban, and kimono. But you can see them tied up around the chest. This is known as mune himo, mune meaning chest. And you often see this technique when dressing younger children. Kata himo means a temporary tie. And you'll use this technique when you are tying your obi, but will eventually get rid of the himo. They come in different lengths. They come in different decorativeness. They come in different fabrics, ranging from cotton to silk. There's even modern innovations in Hemo. This neoprene one has Velcro, and this one is made of elastic. But a little bit of a tip from my instructor. When dressing in a silk kimono, use a silk Hemo. It doesn't rough up the fibers and will preserve your kimono longer. So if you're planning on handing it down to the next generation, just remember, silk on silk. This has been your Kimono Minute.